Looking closer at the avionics and automotive development, they both use safety integrity levels to manage risk of catastrophic failure. The higher the integrity level, the more stringent the required testing becomes. Each controller is assigned a safety integrity level based on the inherent risk of catastrophic failure that could lead to loss of life, significant property damage, or damage to the environment. The code coverage requirements are directly related to the safety integrity level of the system under test. Let's take a look at typical ECUs found inside an automotive vehicle. Each system is made up of different controllers or ECUs, which fall under different safety integrity levels. ACIL-D are, are the most safety critical controllers and require the most testing. ACIL-A are the least safety critical and require the least testing. When you look at the different test tools on the market, you'll notice they all tend to focus on instrumenting or modifying the code base in order to implement test cases. Then the modified code, sometimes recompiled for a different architecture, can be executed natively on a post PC or in a simulated environment or on the target system if the modified code is still fits in the intended memory. Then tests are executed and the results are read back to the tool. The main problem we see with traditional testing is having to instrument your code. What if there was a way to run automated unit system and integration tests directly on your code base from a continuous integrated environment? That's exactly what TestIdea does. TestIdea is a test framework that can configure your target development environment into a full hardware in the loop test environment. The target is configured for whatever state you are testing, power on startup tests or failure modes. Everything you expect your controller to handle can be tested without instrumenting your code. Compiler optimizations can be enabled. All tests are executed on the target system. The test setup consists of an iSystem debugger, target ECU, and host PC. Here we have an IC5700. The, the 5700 is connected over Ethernet or USB to the PC. The target MCU is connected over a debug connection like JTAG, DAP, LPD, or SWD. And additionally, if, there, if the device supports a trace port, you can record program trace, data trace, and other trace messages. These features ultimately depend on the target MCU. So check with us if you aren't sure if your device supports trace. We'll check all the options you have. Sometimes you can use a larger pin device from the same family in place of the production device to get trace, just for development and test purposes. iSystem also provides add-on modules for analog and digital I.O., as well as CAN and LIN. These can be connected to the IC5700 system to create a hardware-in-the-loop environment or automated test environment. Add-on modules can be used for recording analog and digital signals, and for recording traffic on CAN and LIN buses. Tests can be executed in TestIdea or via Python scripting. You can create a black box or white box or hybrid testing environment. In essence, testing your hardware, compiler toolset, and code base by utilizing the target environment as the test environment. This setup is easily scaled up to your needs. We get requests for test stands with hundreds of systems installed. All test systems can be controlled by a single PC or can be distributed as needed. Ask your sales rep about our new continuous integration license and let's start discussing your testing needs. One requirement of test idea is that stack memory must be initialized. You could also initialize MCU peripherals, clocks, IO ports, external memories, the code under test must be operational on the target system in order to be tested. The most basic initialization would be to download the code under test to the internal memory and run until main, thereby initializing the stack. In order to perform a unit test, test idea prepares a call stack frame for the function under test and function attributes are pushed onto the stack. Test idea then starts executing the function under test with a call from 
from the stack and the embedded software starts running until the function returns. When the test completes, test idea evaluates return values and other test values against expected results. Execution returns to main and the next test starts. Test idea does not restore values of global value variables or special function registers automatically. It is the test engineer's responsibility to take care of the initialization of these values before each test. Unlike unit testing, system tests don't manipulate the stack. The system test starts at a certain user-defined entry point. The system test runs the code under, under test until the, end of the, until the end point is reached. Test idea values are then checked against expected results, and reports can now be generated.